All right, this video is going to be a quick um, tutorial on interpreting riprap gradation or rock gradation. Um, so you can see we have a specified riprap gradation here. This rock is going to be used on the side of a river. And so when you go to a gravel company, you need to tell them what size of rock you want. And this is normally what you give them industry standard is that you you just specify the D50 um, so you can see the D50 here is 14 inch well what that means is that 50 percent of the rock should be at least 14 inch and then the rest of the rock will be a combination of nine and four so let's just go through the gradation for this one and then we'll explain what D100 means so D100 in this case we want 24 inch that means that a hundred percent of the rock will pass a 24 inch sieve and then the D75 we want 20 inch so that means that 75 percent of the rock will be 20 75 percent of the rock um, in the group of rocks you're getting 20 inch will pass through at D50 that means that 50 percent of the rock uh, of, the, of the size 14 inch will pass through. D25 means that 9 inch um, rock will pass, 25% of the rock that will pass through the sieve will be 9 inch. So that's essentially how to read the rock riprap gradation or a gradation for rock in general. Um, once again, typically someone will ask for a D50 and so if you ask for a D50 of, let's say, 30-inch rock, though you want 50% of that rock to be 30-inch. Um, and the importance of gradation is, um, especially when you're doing stream bank rasterization, is that you have to size the rock to the flows so that the rock just doesn't float downstream. And then you get the minimum specific gravity of the riprap. The reason why we specify that is a specific gravity of water is one so if you have a specific gravity that you're specifying for a uh, rock of 2.56 that means that the the rock that we're specifying is 2.56 times more dense than water um, and then as far as specifying the specific weight of the gra of the rock there's different types of rock you got basalt rock um, there's a rock, I think the scientific name is dolomite, and then you got uh, volcanic rock, it's very porous. Volcanic rock will be very light, so the specific weight will be less per cubic foot. And then the more dense and hard the rock is, the higher pounds per cubic foot you have. If you have any questions on rock riprap gradation, just give me a call.